What is the most obvious lie you have ever been told? When a co-worker told my own story back to me as his own. Twice. I had a friend do this once. He was hanging out with a large group of my friends that he hardly knew, and my best friend, still my best friend to love that fucker, just went wow it's so crazy you had there but him the exact same childhood story that Jason has told us all before. Right down to the small town in Kansas where it happened, and the color drained straight out of his face. Didn't say a word to me for like 3 days. Dude turned out to be a pathological liar on many levels. Very strange to think how I spent 4 years of high school with someone lying straight to my face constantly and didn't realize it until that moment. Wow that's crazy. Reminds me of the time I had a friend do this once. He was hanging out with a large group of my friends that he hardly knew and my best friend, still my best friend to love that fucker, just went wow it's so crazy you had there but him the exact same childhood story that Jason has told us all before. Right down to the small town in Kansas where it happened, and the color drained straight out of his face. Didn't say a word to me for like 3 days. Dude turned out to be a pathological liar on many levels. Very strange to think how I spent 4 years of high school with someone lying straight to my face constantly, and didn't realize it until that moment. Lmeo that's hilarious. I started reading it, and was like wait a second. This sounds familiar. I speak French, though I'm losing it from lack of use, but one of my college guy friends started dating a girl from France. He was all excited because she could talk to me in her native language and I could help translate. So he brought her to a party at my sorority house and introduced us. I greeted her in French with a very simple, bonjour, bienvenue, comment of a which is just hi, welcome, how are you, blank stare and red face in response. She then said, in what I thought was a kind of strange accent. That she's sorry. She didn't understand me. I looked at the guy and said I thought you told me she was French. Because maybe she was a different nationality and he was confused. He looked at her and she just turned and left. He followed then returned a bit later and said he had caught up to her and she started screaming at him in perfect midwestern accented English that he was a jerk for setting her up to look like a fool. He had genuinely been excited that he could introduce her to someone she could talk to, so he was blown away by her accusations and then angry that she lied. She apparently felt faking an accent would make her more appealing or something. I would see her around on campus after that, but she avoided me like the plague. TBH. I felt bad for her. But if you're going to fake it, at least pick a country with a language you can speak. Reminds of that post where the guy has been faking an Aus accent for all of college. But is screwed BC he wants to marry his GF that thinks he's Australian. My first watch was an Omega and I saved up on high school to get it. One of my good friends back then asked to wear it for one period and would give it back at lunch. He begged and begged so as a HS kid I gave in or couldn't keep saying no I guess. Weak on me. Obviously. Well. He smashed it, apparently smashed the glass to test it, gave it back, and said it was a fake and that's why the glass cracked, and said he didn't do it and it just fell apart. Asshole became a medical doctor, and is now involved in politics and holds state office. I'm still pissed about the watch he never admitted he broke cause he was salty and jealous. Dickhead then. Dickhead now. My opponent borrows watches from their friends, and then breaks them out of spite. Is this really who we want representing our interests in government political attack ad? Not on my watch. My friend told me that getting a peloton changed her life. I looked up her workout stats and she had used it 4 times in 5 months of owning it. Her husband fared a little better with using it 9 times. Don't know why this annoyed me so much. Being able to tell people she owns a peloton changed her life. Using it would be overkill. Real talk. My roommate got the peloton right at the start of the pandemic. He went from 370 pounds to 190 in about 8 months. He combined peloton rides with intermittent fasting. I watched him sweat the pounds away. Also the instructor has nice boobies. When I was a public defender my dipshit client called up his victim from the jail phone the night before his trial. He said kill repeatedly in an attempt to intimidate her. When I was telling him how stupid this was his excuse was that he was watching Kill Bill and someone changed the channel on the cell block communal TV. 
that Dumbass is now doing 28 years in prison. When I was a kid, the internet wasn't a thing so. My friends were whoever happened to live in the neighborhood. One kid was a well-known liar and exaggerator. We were maybe 14 years old at this time. This kid could play guitar and was always talking himself up about it and talking about his band. He actually could play, but his band did not exist. One day, I called him at his house. From my house. I don't remember what it was about, but a few minutes into the conversation, told me, by the way, I'm in Florida with my band. Just out of the blue. This was before even pages were a common thing. I called him. At his house. I just said something like, aha, uh -huh, okay, and ended the conversation. I then proceeded to tell all the other kids in the neighborhood. Ha 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 the ending of this is so perfect. My little girl told everyone in the supermarket that our cat died and she was sad. We don't own a cat. Well, not anymore. Now we have a smelly cat carcass. Smelly cat. Smelly cat. What were they feeding Yao Smelly cat. Smelly cat. It's not your fault. In 5th grade, a friend of ours used to try to convince us he used to hang out with a band Sublime, among other stuff. He said that he was the person featured on the cover of their self-titled album, and he used to do drugs with them, and even tried heroin once. We were fucking 11 years old, and he claimed this all happened 2 years before he even moved to our school. So yeah, a fucking 9 year old did all this wild shit. We constantly called bullshit, but he would just continue to lie and make up more stuff. We stopped hanging out with him because he was so full of shit. When I was 15, I had a friend that tried to tell me the exact same story. What if Sublime was just hanging out with children? What if it's the same friend? Much more likely you know. We are not playing favorites. Apostrophe. Was told I needed to buy my own car as a teen and I did. Following year my baby bro was given a free car. He's 15 mo's younger. Is now 56 still living at home. Ugh. My sister had her car in college pretty much paid for. I was basically told to kick rocks. Yeah I feel your pain. College was same scenario with me too. Fortunately it made me more independent and my bro has never grown up. He will inherit their houses slash land. Oh but I'm told I'll get a car. Think I got the better deal lol. You won't inherit anything, like usually it's a compromise like you'll inherit the houses and they will inherit the land. In high school a buddy told me that he didn't steal our other buddy's watch. He was wearing the watch when I asked him about it. Long term borrowing. He'll give it back some say I'm sure. Some might say so. But I'm not one of them. My mom after 11 year old me accidentally destroyed her favorite vase by throwing my brother's stuffed animals around the living room. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Oh. That hurts more. When my friend was an infant, her mother put a 2 year old sibling in her crib while the mom left the room briefly. When mom came back, my friend was crying and had teeth marks on her forehead. When mom asked the older sibling what happened, she calmly said, she bit herself. Apostrophe. Was that the bite of 87 question mark exclamation point question mark 1. A childhood friend and I met up for coffee one day after not meeting for a few years. He casually let it slip that ever since he earned a black belt he has had to register with the state as a human weapon. My hands are registered as lethal weapons. That means we get into a fight. I accidentally kill you. I go to jail. Anybody accidentally kills anybody in a fight. They go to jail. It's called manslaughter. Apostrophe. What a great line from a great movie. Used to have a friend that spewed bullshit all the time. Told me her B.O. parents, who lived together, were divorced and seeing other people. And also that she had 25 siblings. Brought it up to her mom one time, which was an interesting conversation. She also told us she had cancer. And then a week later it was miraculously cured. Edit. Spelling. I have a family member who did the cancer thing. A cousin found out it was a lie. But the one that I'll never forget was when I introduced her to my friend who has lupus. I don't know how the topic came up about it. But she literally told my friend in front of me that she also had lupus. I immediately ended the conversation and left. 
I told my friend she's was lying, and now we laugh about it but seriously. No shame. Why do people do this? It is so fucking weird. I had a colleague who pretended to have cancer for months. She lied about her kid having deadly allergies. Lied about her husband having a terminal illness. What is going through your mind?